Hey guys, I'm better get fair. Welcome to an award ceremony or like or a mini one. I say mini, it's going to be a long ass video. But sorry if my chest sounds bad, I've just been running and you know my chest is fucked up right now. But I can't help it sadly. But anyway, I'm gonna carry on with this video and let's get into the first award, which is going to be the top the most assisted player in the Mayan Ivy All series. Let's go. Now guys, before we get into that though. And I forgot to say the top five, so it's coming down from the best top five to then to number one who's got the most assists. So, at number five, we have Paul Pogba with seven assists in the whole series. Which is which is good, which is good actually. In number four, it is Mat Juan Mata with eight assists. Just slightly beating Pogba there with one assist. Then at number three, it's Ibra with nine assists, beating Mata just by one again. And it's the big number two. Can you guys guess who this next number two is? Put it in the comments if you can. But anyway, number two is Mikatarian with 15 assists. So whoever it is has got more than 15 assists, which is very impressive. And number one, oh my god, that voice crack. Hey, don't forget to play it back. And number one is Anthony Martial with 18 assists. So now let's head into the top five highest goal scorers of the series. Let's go. Top five highest goal scorers of the series. We have our number five is Marlon Fellaini with five. Now this can't be going too well when Marlon Fellaini is on the top scorers list. Number four is Wayne Rooney with five. It's all right for Wayne Rooney's age actually, so stop diffing him. Number three is Anthony Martial with eight goals. Number two is Paul Pogba who comes off second best with 13 goals. And at number one, you would not believe who is number one, is Ibrahimovic with 30 goals. Now what, oh my god, my chest is getting really bad, but what a way to go off with 30 goals for Ibrahimovic. Now, let's enter the best assist. Let's go. Now into the best assist, which goes to none other than Paul Pogba. Um, he basically, I'll be showing you a clip now, but he basically, um, outside the foot it to um, Anthony Martial, roughly about 30 yards along the floor. So a great, great passing vision. Paul, Paul Pogba's got a great vision in this game, and his passing is absolutely ex extraordinary. Now, I'm going to be showing you a clip now, but yeah, he basically just passed it um, outside the foot to Martial. Martial ran with it and scored. So yeah, I'm gonna be showing you the brand Oh my god, what a ball. Come on. Yes! What a fucking pass. Now we head into how many goals we scored all together in the series. And remember, all them players who I said top scorers and top assists, they were only the top five, so now we head into the goals scored for the series, which it is 82 goals. And it's literally a season because I've literally done a whole season with the Man United um, series with Man United all. So it's basically, you know, a whole series. Now, I've had a look, um, and we, I think we just about got as many goals as Manchester City in one season, and they finished third. So technically, we've finished third at the main in goal difference. Now. Let's head into how many goals we have conceded. Now, guys, let's see how many goals we have conceded. We have conceded 24 goals altogether in the series. So we played 38 and we only conceded 24. So that's, that's like conceding 24 goals in, 20, in 24 games. And then, so literally 14 games out of 38, it was like we kept clean sheets, but te technically. Oh, not 100% on that, but technically we did. Now let's head into Man United wins record each game. So let's see how many games we have won each game. Let's go. Now all together, out of 38 games we've played, we did win 27 times. I think that's impressive for me being the first ever series on World Class, winning 27 times out of 38. So we only lost, I think, nine, or we didn't. We didn't win nine. Let's head into how many United, Man United draw record each game? So that's then to how many times we've drawn each game, which is five draws. So five out of 38 games we've drawn. Now let's head to the loss ratio. 
and we lost six times in the whole series. So in the whole series, we won 27 times, we drew on five, and we lost six. Now, now let's head into our home record. So this is just all the home games. How many we won, how many drew, and how many we lost. And let's see, we can see like a bit of a change from home in a way, maybe that's what I'm trying to do. So at home, we won 15, we drew on twice, and we lost twice. So we won more than we lost. That's that's the confident part I'm taking away from it. Now let's enter the away record. Uh, away record. So it's not Old Trafford. We won 12. We drew on three, and we lost four. So a significant margin of losses to draws in the away record compared to the home. Because at the home record we won 50, and away we won 12. We drew on two at home. We won. We drew on three. So we draw more and lost more at away ground which you know it's okay i guess but then you know let's have a look at the wembley record oh we're three and oh because he won his game at wembley so let's head into the next one now we head into the biggest home win so our biggest old trafford win was against middlesbrough and we won four nil i think that was episode 11 if i stand correctly and um, we won four nil at Old Trafford, massive victory. Um, we did win the other team for one. I think it was Southampton. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. We won four one. So Middlesbrough gets the loss ratio by us winning four nil. Now let's enter our biggest away win, which is actually bigger than our home win, which was five the um, five nil against London at the Stadium of Shites. Now let's head into. The next one, which is the best assister, which obviously goes to Anthony Martial. Highest goal scorer was Ibrahimovic. Now, the highest goal scorer in the midfield was Paul Pogba, which is very, very good. The highest defensive scorer was between Blind and Bailly with one goal each. So, not so good in our scoring defence, but they're not meant to score goals. They're meant to friggin defend our goal so let's head to the worst home defeat the one that i hate the most well the two cat two categories i hate the most we um my worst defeat right so we lost up to stoke we lost to watford and we lost to leicester now the worst defeat i'm saying is leicester city because that game just pissed me off and if you go and look back at it, I think it's episode 8. No, it's episode 6. Yeah, if you want to see me going pissed off, watch that. Yeah, I think it's the very most viewed one as well of Man United VL series. But now we're heading to the worst home defeat. Worst away defeat, actually. Which was... 1-0 away. Hmm, not really that good. Now, I, 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 I've done 1-0 to Leicester City because, listen to this, a goal went over the line, but like it purposely shown goal line technology and it went over the line, surely, um, and they just got a jammy goal by deflecting off Smalling, by and then De Gea, then rolling in off the post when we were absolutely smashing them. Now, turning a negative into a positive we go into my player of the year now this is massive all the star in 11 hopefully i picked the right one and i positively you think I, I, i'm sure you guys know who i'm going to pick i have picked for my player of the year is david de gea now david de gea he is just amazing if you you can have a look at any clip any game he saved our ass now he might be overrated in this game he might be not people say he's shit but overall as a united fan he remains my player of the year he's been absolutely amazing if it wasn't for him we probably would have lost even more games than we have and i just want to say thank you so much to her you have been amazing now we're heading to the players player of the year now i'm trying to keep this realistic as possible so please you know just shut it all right literally so this is what the players have voted. This is how I mean. You know, when I play with the players, you know, like they help 
they assist loads, they score loads, and this should help out the team all around. If this part of the jigsaw ain't in this puzzle, the puzzle won't fucking work. But in other words, this person keeps the whole team alive and going and going. And that player is Paul Pogba. Now, Cameron's most probably laughing his ass off right now. Um, in real life, no, I would not say that. But Paul Pogba, he just keeps every, he's sick. He's got pace, he's got strength. He can run back, help in defense. He's got sick shooting, he's got sick heading. He's got sick passing. He's just got everything in this game. And that's why I've picked him as my, that's why the players have picked him, his player, the player of the year for them. Now, let's head into the next award. Let's go. Now, we're going to name the striker award, the midfielder award, the best defender as well. Um, the striker award obviously goes to the big man himself, Ibrahimovic. He is just amazing. He saved me a lot of the times. And it's not just in FIFA, in real life as well. And I can admit that. He, he, he scored so many last minute goals that saved us except from the Europa League final, which he had sadly had to miss. But, just want to say massive thank you to Ibra, he's our highest goal scorer, and, that's the, this is the actual true fact, when he scored the last goal against Spurs, that was his 30th goal, so that's the last game of the whole episode, of the whole series, in like the 85th minute, he scored his 30th goal. I am happy with that, and Ibra would be too. Now, let's enter the midfielder award. Now, this player, Hasn't been named in an award today, and I think he deserved to be. His name is Hendrik Mkhitaryan. Hendrik Mkhitaryan, he is assisted 15, and he scored four. So score, hey, if you can, if you can, if you, if you can score more goals, if you can score at least a goal, if he didn't steal it, that's impressive. And he scored four goals, and he's assisted 15. Hendrik Mkhitaryan, he's just one of them players who you just wish you could have in your team because luckily United signed him when, you know, we could from from Borussia Dortmund. And he's just been an amazing player, even in real life. He's just been so good. Um, he's been consistent. And yeah, let's end, no, no, let's end to the Best Defender Award. The Best Defender Award goes to Eric Bailly. Now, Eric Bailly, he's just been solid in our defence. That's the reason why we've had 24 but that's why that's why we've only conceded 24 goals in the whole series. Now I can admit this is not just by you. There's other defenders as well, but he's the one who stands out. He has not missed one game. He's played every single game of the series. So that's the whole 30 year games he's played with me, and he's been an absolute rock. So I just want to say thank you so much, to Eric. By you, let's end to the last one. Actually, guys. quick disclaimer: our biggest win on aggregate was 7-2 against Southampton. That was episode 12. For any of you who want to know, so congratulations to the whole Manchester United team for that biggest win, 7-2 on aggregate. We think we won 4-0 at Old Trafford, then we won. Um, let me work this out. Shit, I'm not in school. 3-2 at the same time. The last award of the video or of the series, I, may I just say, um, that these these next clips, well, these next four clips, will be the best four goals. I've scored in the series, so like all together. Now, um, now, yeah, these next four clips I'll be showing you will be the best goals, uh, the best four goals I've scored in the whole series. Now, if you feel free to um, just say what goal you think deserves to be the best goal of the series. If not, I can just decide. And yeah, hope you enjoy these clips. Who's gonna whip it in? Rashford, oh! What a goal! Marcus Rashford! Never knew we had a shot like Ibrahimovic. Teaching Ibra a lesson there. What a fucking goal. And we have got the 2 nil advantage. So if this day like this, we are going... Well, we're going to win. <laughs> Lovely shot. Keeper had no chance. This angle's gonna be really good. And they curled away from the goal as well. What a goal by Marcus Rashford. This is the Sunderland team for you today. So Manoni's <coughs> right. goal. Jermaine Defoe is the sole striker today. It's the Pogba. <gasps> oh my god! And goals from midfield. And he's done the trick this 
Who said Paul Park was shit? Yeah, shut up. Right to the side of the goal. What a goal. That form on the volley. Bounced it beautifully. I, I, I guess it's a jammy goal, but shut up. <laughs> but it's a lovely goal. Paul Park was... Sacrifice from Fellaini. Fuck it. Shut up. Shut up. That is Ebra class right there. Ebra's brass is class. Ebra is just a legend and class as well. What a fucking finish. That's what happens when everything's going to shit. Just take a one shot with Ebra. What you need. Oh, this angle's gonna be good. He's like, nope, fuck it, because he ain't going to get there. He's like, nope. What a fucking goal, my son. And this again, guys, it would be really helpful if you could decide or help me um, figure out which was the best goal of the series there. Um, if you feel like it, pop it down in the comments saying which was the best goal. And if not, I can just decide by myself. But it would be very, very hard because those four goals were absolutely amazing. Um, and just one, just one last thing guys, thank you so so much from the bottom of my heart for watching this series, for liking so many videos, for how many views I'm getting on the videos and all, you know, how you like the series and I really really do appreciate that guys because you've been supported from day one from Manchester United Real episode 1 when we faced Arsenal first time playing on Walker, so I shot myself <clears throat> but I just want to say thank you guys so so much from the bottom of my heart honestly it means the world to upload a video and then you guys watching it honestly even though you are even though many people don't watch it you know it still means a lot even if you guys go on it which is absolute you know amazing for me and that is the end of the Manchester United v All series goodbye it's never going to be seen again but the series is going to live on the main IV all have gone, but the series is going to live on to, this is official right now, to Man United versus the world. Now let me just go and explain that to you right now. So, what it basically is guys, let me just go back on team sheets. What it basically is guys is Man United versus the best teams in League 1, which is AS Monaco and PSG. And then we go to Germany with Bayern Munich, Dortmund. Schalke, by Leverkusen, Wolfsburg, and then we go on to Italy with all them big teams, etc, etc, to the big teams, to the big leagues, and hopefully we're going to be playing every single one of them, every single big team, and we're going to see how many games we can win, lose, and there will be an award ceremony just like this at the end of that series, but for now, goodbye to Man United view all. it's been a hell of a journey. And I just want to say thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like if you did enjoy. And if you're sad of seeing it going. Thank you guys so much for watching. And see ya.